Hi, I'm Barbara Hall. I'm co-principal trumpet with the San Francisco Wind Ensemble, and I freelance out here in the Bay Area. I also teach trumpet at the Harker School in San Jose, California. I'm going to talk today about vibrato. It's a subject that comes up frequently with many of my students, and this is because vibrato is one of the most important qualities we have when it comes to changing the tone color of our instrument. When done well, this expressive technique has the ability to enliven our sound and direct the climax of each phrase. Now, there are many types of vibrato, and each play a valid role in the life of a musician. But I'm going to talk about one specific type of vibrato, and that is hand vibrato. A lot is taught about vibrato in general, but not a lot is taught about hand vibrato specifically. This is because some feel that it's an outdated technique, and thus it is not used to develop the trumpeter's arsenal of tools. Some also feel that hand vibrato can't be finessed or manipulated and is impossible to turn off. But I'm here to tell you that with practice, hand vibrato can become one of the most easily manipulated tools we have to change the color of our sound and it has the added advantage of not interfering with our air or our embouchure. The key is practicing so that it becomes an easily implemented tool. Now, the basic idea with hand vibrato is the same thing that you see string players use, which is to say that the hand is used to gently vibrate the instrument so that the pitch oscillates higher and lower. The degree of oscillation is directly dependent upon the downward pressure exerted by the right hand and the sideways motion of your fingers on the valves. There are two components to vibrato, speed and width. With practice, you can learn to control both of these components and adjust them individually to suit the musical flavor you're after on a given piece. A good way to practice this is by taking your right hand and placing the fingers over the back of your left hand. In essence, now your left hand is becoming your trumpet. And this is so that you can feel exactly how much downward pressure you're exerting with your right hand. Now practice moving your hand gently back and forth and vibrating it slightly. If you see your left hand moving around a lot in space, you're using too much pressure. Lighten up on the pressure, but practice the sideways motion of your fingers. Once you get the feel of that and you're not using too much pressure, Try it on the trumpet with the fingers over the valves themselves. Again, you're not going to be playing. You're just practicing the sideways motion of your fingers over the valves. Now, it's easy to use too much pressure and then see the trumpet vibrate and move visibly in space. You don't want that. That's going to create a warped sound when you're playing the instrument. So it needs to be a little bit more subtle. After you get the feeling or the hang of that, then you're ready to actually play the instrument. Now, a good idea when you're practicing this technique is to record yourself. It's always hard to listen while we're learning a new technique. So recording yourself is very valuable throughout this process. And remember, this is not something that you learn in one night. As my trumpet teacher, the late uh, cornet virtuoso James F. Burke used to say in my lessons, you can't learn this in one night. It might take two which is to say it's going to take a lot more than two nights. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate um, a specific type of vibrato. This is using a fairly fast oscillation in a narrow width promenade from pictures at an exhibition. For the next piece, I'm going to demonstrate a lyrical quality vibrato. I'll be using a slower oscillation and a wider width. I think that this piece needs this style vibrato. It enhances the lyrical quality. And this piece is the uh, offstage solo from Pines of Rome.
For the next excerpt, I'm going to be using hand vibrato to add edge to the sound. This is a very easy way to add some kick or some salt to your sound. Um, I'm going to be using a faster oscillation and a narrow width. And I'm going to be using this on a couple passages from Mendez's La Virgen de la Macarena. Uh, I'm going to play the opening passage and then I'm going to jump to the cadenza section in the second half of the piece. Now, as I mentioned earlier, hand vibrato is an easy technique to use in that you can finesse it on every note and you can easily turn off the vibrato. I'm going to demonstrate this on a solo that is frequently performed with no vibrato. And that is the offstage solo from Beethoven's Leonor Overture number no. three. Try experimenting with hand vibrato, but remember it's a skill that must be practiced and learned before you'll be able to apply it to your literature. Once mastered, however, it will make you a more flexible and versatile musician. Thanks for listening. If you'd like more information, feel free to visit my website, barbarahalltrumpet.com.